I immense I take this pleasure to request Dr. Sandeep Marwa, President Asian Education Group, to motivate the graduates and members of Asian Education Group. Good evening, everyone. What a pleasure to be here this evening with all of you on this very beautiful, colorful, auspicious day to celebrate your success. And that is also blessed by no other than respected Shri M. Venkya Nadi ji. Let's give a big hand to our chief guest. Let me start with two my favorite lines. Ke sabhi dishaun se shub sundar bhav vichar bhare nit antar punya dhara ban jaye swarg ye mere yatno se karuna kar. What I'm trying to tell you here, my dear friends, whether it is north, south, east, or west, whether you're in India or abroad, whether you are on the top of the hill or you're standing at a seashore, whether you are in a lush green garden and looking at some colorful flowers, or maybe looking at the most beautiful woman on earth, the fact is there are two things which are much more beautiful than what you can see with your naked eyes. And these two things are your thinking and your feelings. And the best part is that both the things are right within you. You don't even need eyes for that. On this very auspicious day, let's pray. Hey, Lord, give me good thinking, give me good feelings so that I can do good deeds. And through my good karmas, I would love to convert this earth into heaven. This is what I believe. I'm sure you will also believe in the same. I'm recollecting another two very important lines. Ke kaam shuru karte nahi, bhai se niche log. मध्यम तजते बीच में देख विषम संयोग पर उत्तम वे लोग जो हर दुर्गम पथ झेल दृढ़ता से बढ़ते कदम बाधाओं को ठेल Now what I'm trying to tell you here and before I give you the meaning of these three lines, let me admit I belong to films, television, media, art, culture, education, fraternity and this is one business where we have never ever bothered to divide the society on the basis of caste, creed, religion, region, status, color, rich, poor, never. We have only one dharma, one religion and that is growth with education. This is what we believe in. But still, my dear friends, I've gone a little out of way to divide the society on the basis of these three lines which I've just spoken. Ke kaam shuru karte nahi, bhai se niche log. Who are the people who belong to downtrodden community, C-class? The third grade people, people who have 100 excuses for one job. People who are lazy bums, people who never want to get into any kind of a business, any kind of a work. Please save yourself from these kind of people. They are the black snakes of the society. They never grow. They will never let you grow. They don't do anything. They will never let you anything. Madhyam tajate beech mein dekh visham sanyoga. Who are the people who belong to B class? People with little push and pull. May try to get into some kind of a business. But the minute they see a bit of the hindrance, they try to run away from the battlefield. I have categorized all these kind of people into B class. पर उत्तम वे लोग जो हर दुर्गम पत झेल हु आर द पीपल हु बिलोंग टू फर्स्ट क्लास पीपल हु हैव जेस्ट इंथुजियाजम एक्साइटमेंट पीपल हु वॉन्ट टू डू समथिंग पीपल हु वॉन्ट टू अचीव समथिंग दे हैव दे आर ऑनेस्ट टू देर वर्क दे आर दे आर दे वॉन्ट टू परफॉर्म समथिंग दे हैव गोल्स इन लाइफ दे वॉन्ट टू अचीव सम गोल्स इन लाइफ दे वॉन्ट टू शाउट एंड टेल पीपल दैट आई आई कैन डू इट आई आई बिलीव दैट दीज कैन ऑफ पीपल एंड दे बिलोंग टू द फर्स्ट क्लास बिकॉज ultimately they are the people who turns out to be the achievers and the most important thing to achieve something in life is you have to have a very strong determination and i think uh, this is a wonderful time for all of us to feed in you with all those kind of a terms those kind of a words which you should carry from this convocation back home and which should carry with you throughout your life to make you a most successful person of your respective field Well, I'm so thankful to my honourable Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi, who has given us a beautiful word to this nation, and that word is called Atmanirbhar, and that word has taught us many things. Probably, if you look at the dictionary, this word means self-reliant or maybe self-sufficient. But today, I have brought a special definition for this word, my dear friends, because the minute I say a 
A stands for being ambitious. It's very important for every Indian to be ambitious. Think big, think positive, dream big, and dream not when you sleep. The dreams are not which comes in your sleep. Dreams are the one which will never let you sleep. That should be the size of the dream, my dear friends, because it is already proved by science that uh, if your ambition is big, you're bound to be a, a big person. When I say T, T stands for techno savvy. Times are changing and pandemic has already taught us enough. You have gone through this torture, my dear friends. But remember that things are moving very fast you, beyond your and my expectations. So you have to update yourself all the time and be techno savvy, be alert. What are the new apps, new uh, electronics, electricals? What are the new ways which are coming today to deal with the business, to deal with the uh, people? And I'm sure you will be able to cope up and you will be much, much higher position than even your own expectations. When I say M, M stands for motivation. I'm very well traveled. And I, the first thing which I look into any of the cities, I get into the biggest bazaar and try to get into those bazaar and check if there is any motivation for sale. I'm ready to pay any price. Unfortunately, not not available. So remember that motivation is one thing which is, has to come from within. Motivate yourself to do the best what you can do. Put your full energy to show to the world that you have a lot of capabilities and capacities to change the world, my dear friends. When I say A, this A stands for attitude. You have to be sober, down to earth, polite, humble, supporting, compassionate. Develop all these kind of qualities within you to be the most successful man on this earth. Look at our chief guest today. What a quality. I was reading about his life journey. I was amazed. The man has all the qualities. The diction I mean, it's difficult to find so many words for him in dictionary. And the, and the result is that he turns out to be the vice president of the country. Yes, my dear friends, this is your attitude. That politeness, that supporting nature, that, the, that, that compassionate feelings, they're going to make you a, a big man. When I say N, N stands for being nationalist. Only those people can do well in life who love their countries. Remember that. So develop that feeling for patriotism, feeling that I, am a, I belong to this country. Jis or chale hum masti mein, jhuk jaye udar ambar bhutal, azad vatan ke vashinde, har geet hamara hai badal. Vividh prant hai apni apni bhasha ke abhimani hum, lekin sabse pehle dunya walo hindustani hum. That feeling you have to bring in. Very important to be nationalist. When I say I, I stands for ICE, I-C-E. It's an age of ICE, information, communication and entertainment. It's a, there's a bombardment of information. Be alert from the, all that wrong information which has been delivered to your inbox. Whatever method it may be, a, a, a phone or a WhatsApp or a telegram or an email. Be aware of the wrong information. Delete it. Don't get carried away what is being thrown to you overnight. My dear friends, use your brain because this country is growing and we need each and every one to be a sensible in the right direction. So be aware of the information. This is my duty to make you a little alert on this last day. When I say C, the C stands for commitment. Raghupati Preet Sada Chali Aai, Pran Jai Par Vachan Na Jai. This country has given us Lord Rama, my dear friends, a man of commitment. We should learn from him. So commitment, that, to bring that feeling of commitment. Kavan said and stick to it, whether it's your business, whether you are in service, whether it's your girlfriend. Don't forget that. Develop that sense of commitment because unfortunately that sense of commitment unfortunately missing from the society. Yes. The C also stands for communication. It's an age of communication. And it's very important to read, write, and speak. Learn all the three most important things. And the fourth one is much more important than what these three. The fourth one is listen. Because what you're going to speak, what you know. 
But when you go to listen, you're going to learn more. And that's the quality of intelligent man. They learn, they listen more, and they learn more. And the most important thing is that how you speak. Be polite, be nice. Boli ek anamol hai, jo koi bole jaan. Hiye taraju tol ke, tab mukh baharan. Aisi bani boliye, man ka apa khoye, aur unko sital kare, aur khud bhi sital hoye. You have, to, you have to be the best speaker when you're talking to the people. Unko pata chalna chahiye ke ye ABS ya ALC ya ASB ka student hai. Wow, what a, what a person you are. That should be the spirit. That's the kind of uh, energy I want you to spread all over the world. When I say R, R, and of course E stands for entertainment. So never ever exempt your own entertainment. I belong to this beautiful industry and trust me, I, I prefer and I propose to you that always keep time for entertainment because a good entertained worker is always a better and a hard and honest worker. So I believe in entertainment, my dear friends. When I say R here, R stands for research. Believe in research. This is what has been missing. And I'm happy that Prime Minister has been talking about this word also now and then and telling people to be a little more alert, a little more conscious, read history, go back into the history, go and read about the subject, learn about the subject. Don't mislead yourself by assessing unnecessary. Because if you're going to read before you take a jump or take a step further, you will be much, much better presenter because you know about that product, that setup, that organization, that person. So research work should carry with you all the time in your pocket. Remember that. When I say B, B stands for believe. It's very important to trust people. Believe first, believe in yourself, believe in your parents, believe in your teachers, believe in your establishment, believe in government, believe in people around you, believe in your neighbors. Bring that trust, bring that honest honesty back to this nation, my dear friends. I don't know, people have stopped trusting each other. It's very important because unless and until you're going to trust people, you can never grow in any business. Remember that. So that's believer you have to bring in very importantly. H, H stands for humanity. I'm very happy that Dr. Lalitya has just referred this word a minute back. H stands for humanity. You have to be a good human being. Keep your religions and your traditions and methods into the doors of your house. The minute you are out of your doors, remember that you are a human being and you have to serve the humanity irrespective of what people, what uh, division and department or a segment they belong to. Because the minute you feel that, you will, you will feel that the whole world is yours. Everyone loves you and you will start loving everyone. That's the spirit we need. That's, that's, the, that's the definition of this country, mind you. And when I say A here, this A stands for all-rounder. And I'm happy that this business school or a law school has left no stone unturned because I've gone through the syllabus line by line and I'm amazed the kind of a, the quality of the program, the kind of a program, the quantum of business you have been delivered in last all these years. Actually, it's not possible to give so much in such a short period of time. But I'm very happy that all of you have gone through this tough time because I'm sure the faculty must have been very tough they must have been very rude, they must have been ruthless, but the sole purpose is to make you a better person, a better professional. And I'm happy that all of you today, when passing out from uh, uh, Asian Education Group, all of you are all-rounders. You know what are things moving around you, you know the curricular activities, you know your subject, you know what is happening around you, and this is what we want it to be. And the last R stands here for result-oriented. Whatever I have said, the sole purpose is that we must bring in some kind of a result. That at the end of the day, at the end of eight or nine or ten hours duty, you must see that you have brought some kind of a result back to your own self, to your, your organization, to your society, to your institution or your uh, country. 
That should be the spirit. And, see, and when you are conscious about this, your efforts will be absolutely on the right direction. And I think with all these words, I think I have been able to reach to all of you in this shortest period of time. God bless you. Do well and be successful. All my blessings are with you. Last line probably, which I would love to speak here, ki vibhasit kar gagan bhutal, timir ko jyoti deta chal, nirasha ke andhere ko mita de le prabanjan bal, kahi poonam amavasya, kahi uljhan, kahi phislan, kahi kaate, kahi pehra, kahi pehra katil bandhan. Yahan pratikool hai sab kuch, kahi marusthal, kahi badal, magar tu muskurata chal, dishaye ho uthe ujwal, magar tu muskurata chal, dishaye ho uthe ujwal. Thank you very much. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.